I have something very special that I want to show you today and that's the cantaloupe that's growing in the front of the garden there. Hello! <laughs> These mosquitoes are crazy. Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. It's so good to see you this morning. I hope that all is well with you. I just want to show you the beauty of the garden on this hot August morning. We have been experiencing some hot days here in the New England area, but yet everything is so beautiful and lush because of the rains. So come with me as I walk around in the garden and I show you some pointers. Good morning, good morning. I just had to show you this. My husband cut back the shrubs over there by the, the vegetable garden. And it looks so nice. He even cut back this bed here. And I just love it. It looks so fresh and new. So the garden has a new look. It has a fresh look. It's going to be a hot day today, but everything is just looking so nice. So let me just pan this um, garden so that you can see what I'm talking about. And over there, do you see my yellow flowers? They're nice and full and plump and adding some color. And even in that far bed over there. Now that far back area, that corner over there, those are asters. So in September and October, they're going to bloom. It's going to look beautiful, like white puffy billows of, of goodness. But the thing is, is that right now they look like weeds. <laughs> so we have to tolerate that, just wait for them to grow up a bit. But that other bed is allowing us to get some color there. Yeah. So this is the garden. This beautiful or August morning. calling this particular video um, exploration of the garden come with me and let us explore the beauty and the freshness of the garden this morning hallelujah so this is what the garden looks like on this level the garden is just waking up mm -hmm. over there the lilies are done that was really quick this year um, but the Casablanca still has a few blooms left which is really nice this is what my husband did he trimmed it back and it's it's so nice because you get to see a different view of the garden I like that and you actually get to see the back a little bit more clearer it brings everything up a little bit more clearer Mm. Wow, the glow of the morning. So now my pumpkin patch, <laughs> I'm calling it a pumpkin patch, squash patch is just trailing up and having a good old time. But I'm having a lot of squash 
plants coming forth. They really love this area. And I like the fact that my husband cut this back. Um, you can see my Brussels sprouts there coming forth. I think he cut back some of the good stuff too with the bad stuff, but <laughs> it's okay. We've got plenty of stuff. We've got plenty. Look at this. I just love this. Mm -hmm. It just speaks to the fruitfulness of the garden. I have the splash of color from the zinnias, the purple, phlox, just doing its thing over there. And we have the white from the hydrangea tree. And these pops of color from the zinnia. Next year, I really am going to plant more zinnias because they just add so much to the garden. And I'm definitely going to keep the seeds of these plants so that I can um, have it back again. I really like this. Mm -hmm. And I believe that those Cleomis will self-seed. This is how it looks. So this is the purple flux. You can get a better view of it from this vantage point. And also the back side here. Mm -hmm. and purple flux. Mm -hmm. I love its color. Uh, they are looking so good. This is my first time actually planting cantaloupe. So this is good. Now this is the cantaloupe. You see that? I have a little baby here in the back. Amongst the flocks. <laughs> Ooh, and I have another one. Look at that. I think it likes it back here. Ooh, and another one. Wow, I think it's found its spot back here. Now, here is my cantaloupe. Look at that. It is just a trailing. And I think there's a cantaloupe somewhere around here. Look at that. It's developing. You see that? My little cantaloupe. That's a first for me. Now, this cantaloupe is now sprawling over the wall. And here we have the sunflowers. Let me see if we have any seeds. Yeah, it's going to be developing seeds. Yes. So that's the morning observations in the garden.
Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know what you think. How do you feel about the garden and how's your garden growing? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and let us share our gardening experiences. Before you know it, the summer will be over and we're gonna have to deal with fall. So let us enjoy all of these moments in the sun. Hallelujah, all these moments in the heat of summer. Yes, and have a great day and see you next time in Catherine's Garden. Bye.